Just imagine this for a second. Your business is not doing too well and you're thinking about running a happy hour, running 20% off, so then that way it can save your business. We all have been through that, right? Well, that's a big fat no. That's not gonna save your business and that's the reason why today we're shooting the three most common misconception about restaurant marketing for you. And that way we can debunk it and show you exactly what not to do in order to have a thriving, profitable restaurant. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hey guys, it's Wilson here, your friend in helping you build a profitable, successful restaurant. Make sure you guys subscribe along the journey and major shout out to these two individuals who are giving us the fuel in order for us to create all these valuable content for you. If you guys wanna be featured and have a big shout out like these two individuals, make sure you comment in the comment section below and let us know any problems you may have and any support words that you have for us. Now, without further ado, we're gonna dive right in. Number one most misconception of restaurant marketing is that marketing fixes all. Marketing does not fix all. If you have a poor quality product, you're gonna have people come into through the doors with your 20% coupon, they're gonna try your item, and they're gonna bash it because the quality just sucks. They're never gonna come back again. You're gonna have poor reviews, they're gonna tell all their friends about how bad your restaurant is, and the worst of all, you're gonna be losing money selling items to this person because you just ran a 20% off promotion for them. 20% off cuts right into your margins and unfortunately you have achieved a lose, lose, lose scenario for your business. And that's the reason why we would always wanna lay off marketing until the very end, until you have your systems and processes fixed, until when you have the quality of your products fixed, until you have gained alignment with yourself, within your business, within your team. And that's when we start doing marketing. So marketing does not fix all. The second most misconceived perception about restaurant marketing is that marketing equals big promos, big discounts. If we go and utilize this strategy, then unfortunately we're training our customers to only come dine at your restaurants when there is a discount. It would cheapen out your whole restaurants and at the end of the day, it would also cut right into your margins. So unfortunately, that is not the smartest way of running a business or a restaurant. Running promotions can only be done when you're able to connect with your customers, when you're able and when they feel like that they're getting something of value, when they don't take that for granted, when they feel like, wow, I'm being taken care of because I'm loyal to your customers. Something that you may wanna try instead would be collaborations, events, to make sure that you get people to talk about your restaurant. So, once again, marketing is not all about running big promotions and discounts. It is actually a detriment to your restaurant if you think that's what marketing is. If you guys find any value from this video, make sure you smash the like button so then that way we know this is the type of video that you enjoy. Now, let's get back to regular programming. The third biggest misconception about restaurant marketing is that marketing is fast. Marketing is efficient. That is total bogus. If anyone comes to you pitching you on an idea, telling you that you're gonna get results right away, then unfortunately that's a big fat no-no. Big fat lie, guys. Marketing is not fast. You do not wanna run promotions like what we were saying before. How many times have you heard about a restaurant before you actually go and visit? I still remember, till this day, it's been three weeks since I've been talking about this sushi place that I've always wanted to go, and yet I still haven't visited them. I always see them on Instagram. It's been around five to six different touch points. And what I mean by touch point is five to six different impressions that I see them on my feed, and yet I still haven't gone and ordered from them yet although that's on my to-do list. So what I mean by that is you would always wanna do promotions through social media, PR, uh, influencer marketing, all this type of marketing, but understand that marketing takes time. You need to work into your customer's habits 
their spending habits, their dining habits. And usually that takes around a couple months in order for you to marinate, in order for you to actually seep into their spending habits, in order for them to come and dine in at your restaurant. So marketing is a long game. We cannot just stop doing marketing just because we don't see instant gratification, instant result. That's not what mar restaurant marketing is. We need to appear and build that brand little by little. So there you go. The three biggest misconceptions that restauranteurs have with restaurant marketing. And the only reason why I'm sharing these misconceptions with you is because a lot of my clients, when they come to me, they're like, Wilson, you know what? I want to do marketing for my restaurant. And they have all these big mistakes and conceptions about what it means. And that's the reason why I want to save you guys some trouble, save you guys years down the road of just running big promos, thinking that it'll be fast and thinking that marketing fixes all. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And that's the reason why I want to invite you to our free masterclass in the link below. And in that masterclass, we cover the step-by-step -step process in how do you build a successful, profitable restaurant. So make sure you guys go in the link, sign up now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.